Hey guys, it's Spoot with Fort Misery Gaming. We're doing Ceno Alice again. Uh, we're doing the upcoming poacher event with uh, Briar Rose or Sleeping Beauty and Mermaid. Uh, there will be an event with this one, so there will be uh, uh, medals to collect and turn in for stuff. Uh, I'm waiting for the event to come out to verify exactly what's in it because they have changed things before, so I'm going to wait for a little bit of confirmation before. So take these as not gospel off the rip. The, the weapons will probably not be changed, but there's no way to tell for sure until they come out. So uh, first up on the banner, there are four things. You have two classes and four two weapons that have no class. So we'll start off with Briar Rose Poacher. There may be two parts to this banner. I don't believe there are, um, and it doesn't look like Twitter has been referring to anything. Actually, we can go take a look. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Nope, doesn't say part one, so. Pretty easy enough. Uh, we also have this thing going on, the virtual clam digging. So if we get uh, 15,000 clams, everybody will get uh, 150 twilight crystals. I think it's one like is one clam, and I don't know what retweets are. Uh, but we are about a quarter, about a third of the way, just shy of, so not too bad. Uh, I don't know when it ends. I guess it ends on Thursday. Oh, it counts retweets and likes as the same. So we're a little over a third. So not the worst thing. Bunch of little... Oh, look at them. They're so cute. All right. So let's go over Briar Rose. She is a crusher in this one. She's got kind of a cool little outfit. Uh, looks like a Japanese swimming outfit. You've got... Uh, I don't I don't know what this guy is over here, but he's just sort of hanging out. Uh, and then you've got her armor or her castle using this giant shovel rake thing to pull up the clams which is kind of neat so you've got uh a lot of physical attack on this one 300 pre arcana you've got 100 physical defense 100 hp uh not too bad for a gotcha class so if you're planning on going crusher or at least side specking into crusher uh not too terrible it's arcana uh might actually be worth grabbing considering it's 400 physical attack that's a lot uh, eventually, these do get outfit changes, so instead of the navy blue, we can get a white version of it. It doesn't look like it really changes much else in the... Oh, I guess it changes the color of her life preserver, but that's about it. So, not too bad. So, she's pretty good. Uh, her weapon is okay. It's not... Like, I'm, I'm not in love with it. It's not particularly impressive, but it is what it is. Um, it's decent grid filler for now, but I wouldn't go too deep. So it's 4,700. It deals great physical damage to one to two enemies and increases your uh, fizz defense and magical defense by a small amount. That's fine. Uh, it's got physical defense debuff, uh, so you can moderately reduce enemies' physical defense when attacking. It's good. It's I, I don't know if I would chase this as a crusher unless you really needed another class or Briar Rose happens to be the uh, waifu of choice you are hunting, but it's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, moving on, my, one of my favorites, we got Ye old Mermaid. Uh, she is a paladin in this one, so she's a spear user. Uh, she gets, I think she starts off in the white, and she swaps to the navy blue when we get outfit changes. Uh, she seems to be having a terrible time getting attacked by clams, so not too great. Uh, sort of the same thing as the hammer. You've got a bunch of attack on the main stat, so for the javelin or for the polearm, you've got 300 magical attack and then 400 on the arcana. So if you are looking to sort of... It doesn't have DC on it, I don't believe her weapon does. I'll check in a second. Um, but so far, it's okay if you're looking to shore up your Half Nightmare Alice from the Grand Coliseum. Let's see... Uh, great magical damage to 1 to 2, so it's a tier 3, decreases their magic attack by a small amount. It's a 4,700 attack. It's got 1,500 magic attack, but it's got 1,500 physical attack, too. That seems kind of lopsided. Uh, and then it's got magic defense debuff. So it's pretty much the same thing as the other one, just the magic variant of it, which isn't awful. Um, the only way I would go after this is if you're looking to shore up your polearm grid for Half Nightmare Alice. Otherwise, 
I mean, that's, it's not a, it's easily skippable. Uh, the support book that's in this one, or that should be in this is the Book of Observations. It reduces the physical attack and defense of one to two enemies by a great amount. This book is crazy. Um, you also have a chance to increase the physical attack of one member of the Vanguard by a great amount while executing commands, which is pretty good. This is one of the first chances we actually see this one. It's 5,100 on a book. Um, this is a, <laughs> this is a good book. Like, it's got a variable. It's a 2D buff. Possible two targets, which I can't think of too many that are floating around, and it's a tier three. So on the off chance that this comes with and isn't nerfed, uh, you chase the shit out of this book. Um, this is a pretty decent tome for sorcerers. Uh, check the weapon when the banner drops, just to be sure. Um, like I said, we have had issues with weapons coming out, uh, really only the replicant one so far, but it was a big enough buff or a big enough nerf that people were upset enough that they had to change one of them back. So keep an eye out, but the book's good. If you're a Sork, consider kind of going in for that one if you can. Uh, and then we've got a Breeze's Whisper. You can increase the magical defense of one to two allies by a great amount. It's fine. Um, it's got... You increase the magic attack of one member of the Vanguard. It's 5,100 stats, but it's it, it's statted where it needs to be. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, this would be something I would get with Pity Metals if I pulled the other ones I was looking for, but we don't really know when the next Minstrel Banner is. It's okay. Magical Defense is only going to get a premium if you start running into a lot of properly gridded Half Nightmare Alices. Otherwise, it's still kind of a negative for the most part um it's just not the great uh and then we need to look up there's one nightmare uh Karkonos, i believe where is this man oh i can just i don't know why i'm doing this There's my shrimpy boy. Big old crab. Uh, so he has Blessed Armor too. So he's kind of like Library Wisp. If you already have him, or if you already have Library Wisp, don't chase him. Um, he was the purchasable at the beginning. Uh, I will say though, he's got some ridiculous stats. 1700 defense and death. Um, so this is definitely a, a nightmare for clerics, because that's a strict upgrade to your stats that you need. Uh, otherwise, it's fine. Like like I said, if you've got Library Wisp, I don't particularly want to drive you guys down a path of chasing it. But uh, if you get him, there are worse things to get. He's he's decent, especially if nobody on your, on your guild has Library Wisp. If you are the guy bringing Blessed Armor to a fight, you are an MVP. You, you the real hero. So that is it for the banner. So should you pull? Um, the Nightmare is really good for clerics. It's moderate for everybody else. The book is very, very good for sorcerers. Uh, the two classes are fine, but their weapons aren't particularly great. If you have high, Half Nightmare Alice and you're going for the full javelin or pull arm grid, go for Mermaid. I She has a lot of magical attack in her grid. So, or in her uh, levels, so it's definitely worth using. Uh, the Minstrel Instrument, it's okay. I, I, I feel like as soon as we get Pinocchio Minstrel, everybody's going to kind of have a bad time with all of these little weird ones that have in between. Plus, you should have enough gems to go uh, at most of a pity. So, I would put off this one just to be safe. Uh, so, the Too Long didn't read. Clerics really want this nightmare, but don't go out of your way. Like, if you find yourself with enough medals, you might want to pity him, because that's a chunk of stats for cleric healing. And the book is definitely worth... If you don't see yourself chasing it, but you have enough medals, you think, by the end of the month to pity it, the book is definitely worth grabbing. It's a possible two-target, two-debuff. Like, that's a lot. So that is it from Spoot. Uh, tell us how you guys are doing, what you're chasing, how do you like the banner, are you interested in clams? <laughs>